Hey guys, Ike here from Ike'sOutdoors.com. Today we're going to be doing a broadhead test on the Adam broadhead. And you'll see here, this is a lot different broadhead than what you're used to seeing. Uh, this is one that I've really been wanting to test for quite a while. Um, this is a compressible cutting diam or cutting broadhead. Basically, I'm not going to show you because I don't know. I don't want to cut myself, and I don't know exactly what I can and cannot do with these things. But this has razor wire on the sides of it. And when this goes through, through bone, those will compress and, and, and get, get down low and get down flat. And then when it comes through the bone, they'll spring back open. So, uh, like I said, it has, it's the first razor wire broadhead. Um, it's got a one by one cutting width. Uh, I think the, uh, I'm reading off the thing here because this is a review I've wanted to do for quite a while, guys. But I'm going to be honest with you, I just haven't had time. So I'm reading off of the, the box here on some of the specs on this thing. And then we're going to put it through the test here. Uh, says uh, you can change the the wire in seconds. Uh, it says it's easy to do. You can see on the back of this here uh, maintains cutting width through the flesh, but when it goes through bone, it'll compress and then it rebounds after it goes through the bone. So uh, it's got a nice steel ferrule to it, and uh, the razor wire looks pretty tough, pretty good. It's a nice steel razor wire. The first thing that I've had, I've been playing around with this just a little bit uh, before testing. And uh, the first thing that I found on this thing is it does, I don't know if you can hear that or not, it does make a little noise. And I can hear it when I got it right up next to me. So that's one of my biggest concerns is does this thing, when I'm shooting it, is it going to make noise? So uh, what I did was I shot this compared to my field points and compared to my uh, Red Feather Phoenix heads, which are a fixed blade uh, broadhead. And this does have a noticeable uh, noise to it when you're flying. One of my uh, first staff guys, Mitch, was over here and, and he noticed it right away too. So it does have a little bit of a noise to it and we tried tightening it up and doing some other things with it and it never could. The, the reason it's, it's uh, making noise is that razor wire in there is loose. And this is just out of the box. I haven't done nothing to this thing. I just pulled it out of the box and threw it on an arrow. So, uh, so we're going to start out here with an accuracy test in combination with a cutting test with this little deal here from 20 yards you know if I can hit that I'm pretty sure I can and these are, are, are being, been real good about being accurate so we'll get that we'll see if we can hit that see if we can cut some of these then I'm gonna put a piece of leather up there and cut that I've got a small piece of sheetrock that we're gonna test out to see what it goes through and it should compress there shouldn't be a good uh, big cutting diameter on that sheetrock it should compress and then come back out the other side uh, fully open so we'll see if it if it will compress like it's supposed to and uh, we'll come up with a few other tests too here just to uh, try it out and then we're going to do a destruction test on it see what it takes to uh, to destroy these these wires in this thing so let's get started and let's get right to our first test all right did a pretty good job on that shot uh, first shot I hit while ago I didn't hit uh, very many of them but boy that shot did a pretty good job and probably can't see back here with my styrofoam. I got a big chunk of styrofoam to back this and it was really driving it through that styrofoam. Okay, so what I've got here this time is I've got the same frame that I had on there on there before. I've got a piece of leather. This is a pretty good chunk of leather, pretty hard, uh, pretty stiff, and I'm leaving it loose like this to simulate an animal hide, because an animal hide's it's it's tied down on its top, but it's got some flex and it's got some give to it. So uh, I'm gonna move one rubber band down here at the bottom. So just kind of hold that thing in place and that's it so it's going to have some flex and it's going to have some give to it uh, and it's, I'm going to try to hit it right here where it's doubled up which is right about here in this center and uh, leave the rubber bands behind it so uh, just because I don't feel like taking them all off but uh, so we'll try to hit that leather and see what kind of hole we can put in that very nice hole in there uh, yeah, I barely caught it where it's doubled up. Uh, good hole in the back. Tore it up pretty good. Nice little hole in the front. You can see there. Uh, pretty good entry hole, considering it's only a one inch cutting diameter. Uh, pretty good and blew right through that. Didn't have any trouble at all getting through uh, the two layers of, of leather there and cut the uh, some more of those some more of those rubber bands there. And so. Pretty good on that test. We'll give it a few more. I think I'm going to give it the uh, sheetrock test here and see how well it does on that. 
Okay, so what I've got here this time, this is some low density foam. We've used some of our some of our tests in the past. You can see it's just got a good squishy foam. Uh, I've got a layer of that in the front. It's about half inch thick, uh, maybe even three quarters inch thick. That's pretty thick stuff. And I've got a layer of it on the back, and I've got a piece of half inch sheetrock in the middle. Now the idea behind this test and my thought behind this is to replicate a hide or uh, the organs or something like that of, of the animal, a bone, and then more organs. So what I'm hoping to see out of this test is a good big entry hole. I'm hoping to see it flatten out when it goes through the sheetrock and then expand again when it comes out the back side in that foam. Now that's asking a lot, but I expect a lot out of these broadheads, so we'll see how well this works. Okay, guys, so it's going to be a little bit tough to tell on this foam. Uh, we got a good exit hole, and we got a good entry hole. Okay, so there's our exit hole. You can see here's our broadhead. I'm just going to place it in there like that. Uh, the hole is just as big as the blades. It's like it's a one-inch hole, so it doesn't look like it compressed down when it went through this piece of sheetrock. Now, a piece of sheetrock and a piece of bone are two different things. So uh, it did. It did well as far as cutting the foam. Pretty, pretty good hole in the sheetrock. Got pretty good penetration on it. Uh, our exit hole is right here. You can see the exit hole. So we got a nice little exit hole. And what I was most impressed with is, like I said, the head's still in really good shape. I really thought some of the razor wires, uh, I really thought I was going to break some of them. So let's find a few more things around here to test this out on and uh, see what else we can do with this. I'd like to see and I may not be able to do it until we do a destruction test. Uh, I'd like to see those razor wires close down. This right here, it, it just maybe it's just a little too soft. Uh, maybe I need something a little bit harder. It's, it's not consistent like bone is. So uh, may not that may not have been the greatest test to test it going down. But I'm impressed with what it did to the to the uh, sheetrock. Okay, so I got another little test here. Uh, it's a piece of foam, and it's a piece of uh, piece of wood on the back side here. Not real thick. This is a this is what you'd hang in your shower, uh, in your bedroom or bathroom. So uh, just a piece of scrap that I had here. So we'll try that out and we'll see if maybe it'll. It's also be a good punishment test, as well as I'd like to see a very very small hole when it comes through the back side of this. Now I've already got one hole in here from doing that before, so we'll keep that in mind. There is one hole in there, and uh, we'll try this thing out. Okay, so the last shot that we took there, we showed you, was the last shot for the Adam Broadhead. Um, we got a nice entry hole. Got a good, really good entry hole into that soft foam. Uh, but And the exit hole was really nice and small. So I'd like to tell you that, uh, I, that for sure the uh, wires compressed down like they were supposed to, but I broke all the wires out of it. So... Uh, Found a piece of the wire here. One of the wires was still in the in the deal there. So uh, you know, overall, it took quite a bit of punishment. So I'm impressed with that. Uh, the accuracy was definitely there, and I could probably order a set of uh, wires and, and and fix this blade or fix this broadhead because the head itself is in fine shape. You can see that part's fine. What I did was I broke the wires. So I could probably, I don't know if Adam sells them or not, but I could probably replace the wires and be able to shoot this head again. Um, the cutting diameter on that foam was good. I was getting a nice good one inch cutting diameter, so I was getting a good cutting diameter. Uh, and putting in a good exit hole, uh, you could see in that, in that foam, you could see in the leather, you know, we got a good, nice good big entry hole there, nice good hole on the back side. So I definitely think, think that they're cutting good and that a deer would, do, uh, would bleed out pretty well with them. Uh, like I said, they were they were really accurate, just like my field points. The destroyer that I'm shooting is uh, one that I, has not been broadhead tuned yet. It's just been picked up, and uh, I, I'm using that specifically for that reason. It's because uh, my high country is broadhead tuned, and the other bows that I've got here, i got a Maitland here as well, that's broadhead tuned. So this destroyer is one that I just picked up. So uh, not broadhead tuned, and uh, still shot with field point-like accuracy. So... Uh, Pretty impressed with that overall, and durability on something like this. You know, if I'm going to go out and buy a head that I just want to last for a lifetime, um, 
you know, it's going to be something that's going to be good and it's going to be something that's solid. Uh, replaceable blade broadheads to me, uh, the main ferrule is what I'm looking at. I'm not looking at the blades to last me a lifetime because, like the name says, they're replaceable blade broadheads. So the ferrule on this is pretty tough. We, we, we shot it through quite a bit of stuff and, and it's pretty tough. And like I said, replace the wires and, and be able to go right back out and do some hunting with it. So, uh, you know, this is one that I really thought thought was a gimmick coming into it and uh, has some, some aspects that makes you think it's a gimmick product, but I'm pretty impressed with it overall, uh, especially for a guy who, if, you're, if you just want to go out and uh, put your, take your fill points off and put a broad head on then, and you don't want to shoot an expandable head, then this would be a good broad head for that. Uh, like I said, it's got good cutting diameter and uh, really performed well when it comes to... Uh, when it comes to our, our entry tests and our exit exit hole tests, uh, cut rubber bands really well. Uh, really did did pretty good on all of our tests. Uh, I'd like to have seen the blades last a little bit longer. But if you consider, uh, we shot it through a piece of sheetrock and in a piece of uh, a piece of this board. That's some pretty tough pretty tough board. We was able to do that three times. So overall, that that's that's not too bad. Uh, so that's the Adam Broadhead. Uh, definitely one that would be worth getting a look at, especially like I said, if you want to just grab a grab some fill points and uh, take your fill points off and throw a broadhead on, definitely be worth some of that. Very very accurate right out of the box, no tune into the bow whatsoever. So uh, performed pretty well during all my tests. So be able, be sure to check this out if you're interested uh, in picking some of these up. We'll give you the website right here. Uh, check these out, get a little more information on them. Uh, that's been the Adam broadhead. Uh, it's a razor wire broadhead. Fairly impressive overall. Uh, I wouldn't say one of the best heads that I ever tested, but but pretty good. It's a it's a lot better. It's not a gimmick head. I'll tell you that right now. It's it's not a gimmick head. This one would be one that uh, a serious hunter could definitely go out and use and probably have some pretty good results with. So uh, uh, pretty good head overall. Adam Broadhead. Be sure to check that out. Put the website right here for you uh, for more Broadhead tests. We got a Magnus Buzz cut, cut head test coming up, and uh, T Max going to test out his wikis. So we've got some Zwicky tests. He's going to test out the Magnus as well. So we've got some more Broadhead tests coming up. Be sure to check out our website, ikesoutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.